you guys know what another video come on <laughs> what another video for you guys today and today today we have people who turned into plastic okay yes title is kind of crazy kind of weird but i'm guessing it's people that like got so much like plastic surgery or something like that i'm not sure so they like look fake or something i don't know guys i don't know let's just go ahead and get right in to it mm -hmm. there are others that take it a little too far a little too Here far people who turned into plastic uh-oh Rodrigo Alves. Rodrigo. Rodrigo Alves has had roughly 42 surgeries. Since wow, 42? He has had nose jobs, liposuction, six pack sculpting, cap shaping. <gasps> I didn't even know that was possible. I didn't even know that existed. You, got, you can get six pack sculpting? He also takes Amazing. Daily Amazing. Tablets, hair growth <laughs> supplements, and anti water retention pills to maintain his appearance. He has spent nearly four hundred thousand dollars on surgery. Four hundred thousand, looking like a human Ken doll, which seems to suit him just fine. He now lives in London, England, but after his body rejected his latest operation, oh. he claims he's done with plastic surgery for a while. That's crazy. Collagen Westwood. That's crazy. <laughs> Londoner Collagen Westwood, whose real okay. name is Holly, was relentlessly bullied as a child and Ooh. dreamed of the day that she could change her appearance. Growing and she up, did. she was surrounded by her mother's drag queen friends and idolized Boy George, Pete Burns, and Lily Savage. <laughs> Lily she Savage? She glamorous as they were and put her I, plan into motion. I never heard of her before, but that's a funny, that's a cool, funny name. Lily Savage. She has injections, but also wishes to have several ribs removed to accommodate a tighter corset and breast augmentations. She said, she, she said several night, ribs removed? Several hours to do her makeup. Dawn's different wigs and dresses like the drag queens she admires. Seven hours she's at? She is often mistaken for a man, but claims that she absolutely loves it and can't wait to save up more money to complete her <laughs> Mistaken for a man and she Celso loves it? Santibanes. Okay. 21-year-old Celso Santibanes spent thousands 21. of dollars to turn himself into a human Ken doll after entering modeling competitions. Human Ken doll, that was that last dude did, because he wanted to be like a Ken doll or something like that. In Brazil, he changed his surname to Santibanes after his favorite Mexican sitcom character when he began modeling. Despite being known I actually know somebody that has a name like that, so. Surgery, he felt he needed to look even better so that he could appear in, in Hollywood. his female counterpart known as Human Barbie. It was during the aftercare <laughs> for one of his many surgeries that he wow. discovered he had leukemia. Ooh. Unfortunately, he passed away oh. after a five-month-long battle with the disease. Sad. Jenny Lee. Jenny Lee. From Austin, Texas, Jenny Lee had always had low self-esteem when it came to her appearance. Whoa. In 2004, she appeared on the Oprah Winfrey Show. Oh, I say that Oprah? After oh. having undergone 26 different procedures, 26. including lip injections, several no nose jobs, jobs liposuction, no and breast no augmentation. Jobs. She admitted to the talk show host that despite her surgeries, she still wasn't happy with how she looked and Whoa. wished to undergo more, even though it hurt. Following her appearance on the show, she underwent 33 more procedures, including a fourth nose job. After developing fibromyalgia, a painful musculoskeletal disorder, she was forced to end her obsession. Yeah. Despite Whoa. her own insecurities, she is so like basically like nose job just basically make your nose look better or something like that. Like I know people getting nose jobs and stuff, but I'm guessing just make it look like more smaller, more. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure. I don't like people get lip injects to make their lips look fuller and stuff, but I guess. So when they had the chance to appear on Let's Beauty, a local reality show, they jumped on it. The show takes otherwise plain looking people that are unhappy with the way Whoa. they look and provide them with cosmetic surgery. Whoa, the that's show, the show? The audience is shown unflattering before photos for dramatic effect before seeing the results. No of way. Pictures. Both sisters received nose jobs, chin reductions, dental work, facelifts, and many other procedures that left them looking unrecognizable. Really? Justin Jedlick. Wow. 36-year-old Justin I don't know, I, I don't know what to call it, amazing or like kind of crazy. Children. 
In Apex High School, he discovered a passion for visual and performing arts, but was unhappy with his personal appearance. Whoa. When he was 18 years old, he underwent his first of many cosmetic surgeries. Cosmetics. Since then, he has undergone approximately 190 no. surgeries. 190, he really? Thigh implants, rhino Thigh implants? Glutioplasty, and several other procedures. Wow. Originally inspired by a television wow. show in his youth, Justin <laughs> felt that undergoing cosmetic surgery was a sign of a wealthy and glamorous lifestyle. We're gonna stop right there. That was, that's too much. 190 surgery. Whoa. Anyway, guys, that is people who turn into plastic, as they say. Um, let me know what you guys thought about that. Uh, would you get a surgery done? If you get some surgery done, what would you get surgery on? Let me know down below in the comments. Uh, make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys, Team Casanova, in the next video. Yeah!